Hello there and welcome back to Happily Home Cooking. Today we are making one of our family's favorite salads, taco salad. Even my kids love this because unlike most salads, our taco salads are loaded up with delicious toppings. And of course there are probably a thousand different ways to make a good taco salad, but today I'm going to be showing you some of our favorite toppings along with the homemade taco seasoning I use to season our taco meat a quick salsa ranch dressing, and how we make some homemade crispy baked tortilla shell bowls. They are just as good as the ones you'd get at your favorite Mexican restaurant, but with no frying oil, they are healthier and even easier. So if you're ready for some new ideas on how to maybe spice up your Taco Tuesday or Taco Salad Tuesday, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and then stay with me and I'm going to show you how we make our homemade taco salads. So we'll start off by preparing our homemade taco seasoning using some spices that you most likely already have at home. In a mason jar or just a plastic container is fine. We'll start with a half a cup of chili powder, three tablespoons of onion powder, three tablespoons instant minced onion, two tablespoons of sea salt, two tablespoons of cumin, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of paprika. Pop on a lid and give it a good shake to thoroughly combine all those spices and that's all done. And this recipe will make more than you need for our taco salads today so you'll have plenty left over for the next time you want to make tacos too. I have also made this many, many times without the instant minced onion, and it's also very, very good. So if that's not something that you have or like, you can omit the instant minced onion and instead just add one extra tablespoon of onion powder. So now the next thing that we'll prepare is our salsa ranch dressing. First, we'll make our ranch according to the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning mix. We're adding one cup of mayonnaise, and one cup of milk, along with three tablespoons of the ranch mix. If you have never tried the ranch mix that you mix together at home like this, I'd highly, highly recommend it. We really think that it just tastes so, so much better than the pre-mixed store-bought stuff in a bottle. Definitely worth the extra two minutes of time it takes you. So good. Once we've added those ingredients into our bowl, we're just going to give it a quick whisk to combine them all together until our ranch starts to thicken up. And once it's nice and thick, transfer it into a jar. Now we'll just add in a few tablespoons of your favorite salsa, and there you have a salsa ranch dressing. Quick and easy, but definitely a great addition to our taco salad. If you have a favorite recipe for either homemade salsa or your own homemade ranch dressing mix, I would love it if you would leave it in the comments. I know I would love to try it, and I'm sure a lot of other people would as well. I have tried making my own ranch dressing from scratch before, and I just haven't found the right recipe for me. So for us, this Hidden Valley mix is still at the top of the charts, but I would love it if somebody has something homemade. This way certainly is quick and easy, and it definitely adds great flavor to our homemade taco salads. So next we'll prepare our meat. I'm gonna be using ground beef. That's our go-to meat for tacos and taco salads. But of course you could do steak or chicken, whatever your favorite is. We're just going to cook up our meat real quick. I'm going to break this up as I brown it in a large skillet. Once it's all browned, I'm going to drain off the grease. I do have this great little strainer that I use a lot of the times, but when it comes to taco meat for some reason, I like to be stubborn and kind of play taco meat roulette. Trying to drain off the grease without letting it fall into the bowl is always a fun challenge. All right, so now back on the stove, we're going to add in our taco seasoning to our meat that has now been drained. 
We like to add about two tablespoons of our homemade taco seasoning per pound of meat. And of course, you don't have to use a homemade taco seasoning. There is nothing wrong with buying a pre-mixed uh, seasoning. No judgments here. Do whatever you like. We're going to stir that together real quick to disperse all of our seasoning. And then we'll add in just a bit of water. Just enough to make it moist but not soupy. I usually add somewhere around maybe a quarter to a third of a cup. You'll, as you mix it around, it will kind of absorb into the meat. And I look for just a little bit of liquid left in the bottom of the pan. I think I'm gonna need just a little bit more today and that should do it. Once that uh, water is all mixed into our meat and seasonings, I'm just gonna turn this heat down to low and let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so and then this is ready to go. Now for the fun part, we're going to make our easy taco shell bowls. You don't need a special pan or anything, just grab yourself a bowl that is about the size that you'd like your tortilla bowl to be. And we're going to place a piece of heavy duty aluminum foil, molding it over the back of the bowl. Then we'll place it onto a baking sheet and I'll make one more. I can squeeze two of these onto one baking sheet. After scouring the internet, this is the easiest method that I found and honestly, it works out great. Now we'll take our tortillas, which you want to be nice and soft and pliable. So either have them at room temperature or if you're pulling them out of the fridge, just pop them in the microwave for 10 seconds or so just to soften them up. We're going to brush these lightly with a bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil, but any oil will do. We're gonna get them on both sides. Then we'll just place them over our heavy duty aluminum foil domes we created. And I'll gently kind of pleat the sides uh, just to guide it into the sort of shape that we want. Believe it or not, this heavy duty foil is strong enough to hold up to the weight of the tortillas, which is awesome. I have a feeling that regular aluminum foil might not be strong enough, um, but if you try it, let me know. I found this to be the easiest way to get nice uniform bowls without having to buy special taco salad bowl pans or something like that. Then we're just going to pop these into the oven and we'll give them a quick bake at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes or so or until they are a beautiful golden brown. Transfer them to a cooling rack to let them cool down and these will stay nice and crispy so you can do these in advance if you like. They stay nice and crispy actually for a couple of days. Repeat to make as many bowls as you like and this will be a beautiful addition to your homemade taco salads. And now for all of the other yummy things that make taco salads one of our favorites. For lettuce, we like to use a combination of romaine and iceberg. We like to use some dark red kidney beans, our taco meat, maybe some corn. This is a great use if you have leftover corn on the cob. Some shredded cheese of your choice. We use a Mexican blend, some sliced olives, diced red bell pepper, we like to use some sliced radishes, and I like to add a little something spicy, some sliced pepperoncinis or jalapenos. Tomatoes of your choice, I love great tomatoes, some diced fresh avocado, and maybe some sliced green onions. 
If you have some other favorite ingredient additions, I would love to hear them. Share them with us in the comments. These are just some of our favorites. To make serving dinner easy, do it taco bar style. Everyone can assemble their own salad with the toppings that they like, and everyone will be happy. Don't forget to top it with your salsa ranch dressing, and everyone is in for a delicious taco salad dinner. This is one of the few times I can serve only salad for dinner and hear zero moans or groans from the kiddos. And just a side note, if you don't want to make your own taco bowl shells or don't have tortillas on hand, get yourself some tortilla chips or some yummy little Santa Fe style tortilla strips like these. They are equally delicious. Or do both. And that's how our family likes to enjoy our taco salads. These make an excellent weeknight dinner or really for any time. I hope we were able to give you maybe some new ideas to spice up your taco night. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and turn on your notifications so that you will get notified when we upload our next delicious family favorite recipe. Happy home cooking!